I was just reading an article in The Independent about an Indian boy that woke up on the way to his own funeral. That boy gets a second chance. But who doesn't get a second chance is my daughter's father, who died at just 34 years of age in 2008. This year I'm turning 37. He doesn't get a second chance. But I get this chance to be here right now. This is my chance of living. This is my life. And I owe it to him to make it the very best life that I possibly can for myself and our daughter. And I want to bring women like me with me. I know what it's like. We all get bills. We all get credit card bills. Mine's got notes all over it. But we all get credit card bills and power bills are ridiculous at the moment. I know what it's like when you don't have the money, when, you, when you've got to figure out how you're going to feed your child, how you're going to pay these bills that come in, and you've got to pay them all at once, and you, you don't know what you're going to do. Or if you've got a business, you're having trouble finding leads, you don't know how to advertise, and get constant flow of income coming in. Here's where I can help you. I've been studying a Bachelor of Communications. I've got my Bachelor of Communications. I'm now studying a Graduate Certificate of Communications. And I've also been doing some research apart from that. What I've learnt from people that have been there, that have done it, and that are helping others to make not only millions of dollars but billions of dollars, I've learnt little tricks and one is crucial. Advertising doesn't work if you put ads on television or radio or on social media. It's like a bucket with holes in it and the hot leads, the ones that want your help, that want to buy from you, they're sieving through the holes because you can't catch them. There's no bottom on your bucket. So they're just sieving through and out they go and off they go. And you don't know who's watched your videos, who's looked at your Facebook posts or any other advertising that you've attempted to do. You don't know who's been there. You don't know how to collect them. So therefore you can't help them. Unless they reach out for help you don't know who who needs your help back in the past books were entertainment in the Victorian era families used to sit around while the father read a book and authors knew this and they had an interaction with their readers they would target their, their books towards the family and towards the situations in which the family would read the books such as close to prayer time for example or around the fireplace and they would direct it towards the children and the women and in France they would direct their books towards the men they had an interaction there was also public readings whereby the books were being read out in public, especially towards people that couldn't buy the books. Authors knew this and sometimes they would do the readings themselves. So therefore, authors had interaction and feedback from the people that were reading their books. That's their advertising. And then we've we've sort of swept away from that and gone to what's an analogue type of advertising which is TV and radio and then the internet come in and social media come in but people still haven't got it right they still don't have a way of collecting information where they can constantly develop a relationship with the person reading their content and 
get interaction and feedback and see where they can help each other. Okay. So I can help you if you're a mother, a single mother in business, you're in the sort of dabbling stage, you're trying different things and things aren't working for you, there's a trick that I can help you with. So if you'd like to know more, you can get on a free 10 minute call with me and we can find out if you are suitable for the help I can give and if I'm suitable for you. So let's get on a 10 minute call if you would like my help and we can take it from there, it's free. Okay, so um, lovely to be speaking with you and have a good night.